Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and we're at the weekend. It is wonderful Friday and I'm up today with a design team haul from KS Craft. So what I'm showing you today will be up with for most of next week to do uh, makes and share projects. So first up, and this is the first time I've had them and I'm not always 100% sure what I've got in my hands. So I do find the links and put the links below afterwards. So this is a Christmas gumball machine. Isn't that awesome? There's a little car, there's a tiny little house. And I think that's a gift. But I'm going to make that one up for Monday. So we'll get to see what that one looks like. But I think that's a Nicole design looking at that little house. Because that little house I'm pretty sure I've got in various sizes. That went with um, different Christmas things that Nicole has done. So it's nice to have a little tiny one. So fabulous one there. And we'll do that on Monday. And we've got some Halloween in, and we've got the word yikes. I've got a cobweb, and I've got a rest in peace and a boo. We've got some drips and some hands, potion bottles and candy corn. So that's another thing to make next week. And then we've got this gorgeous little snowman cup. I think it's a snowman. I can see a woolly hat here and lots of marshmallows. And that is a shaker. We have what looks to be um, another cup. This one has got a piece that will make it 3D. So you can have a three-dimensional shaker. Um, and that should stand up because it will be, you know, like a cup box. So that's another one to make. Lots of coffee beans that come with that one. So that's really cute. We are at autumn and we've got pumpkins and leaves, sunflowers and the word fall. So, you know, you could decorate your cup up for autumn if you want to. Or you could have a Halloween-y cup. We've got borders here of spiders, zombie hands and bones. <laughs> now, the bones one is really cute because take that away from Halloween and it's going to make a really lovely card if you've got any uh, dog dies or cat dies and stamps so that's something that can be used outside of Halloween and of course the hands even though they're supposed to be spooky hands they could be celebratory hands you know you could have balloons coming out of them or they could each be holding a tiny little cupcake for a birthday but of course spiders <laughs> you can't have avoid the spiders for Halloween I don't know what other situation I would use spiders in so we're going to say that's Halloween but you could certainly be using those on other projects it could even be you know hands giving a round of applause um, for somebody who's just graduated so those two can be used other seasons but I would suggest spiders for Halloween right and next up this is a great size this is I'm going to have to flip it over. It's a lovely uh, gift. Once again, Christmas or birthdays. And I'm pretty sure this one's a shaker. And it's got that bow on the top. So that is going to be a gift for all seasons. And then we've got the skinny tall one, which has got the chevron pattern. So that's another cute one. It's got another piece with it again. So, you know, paired together, you've got two shaker gifts. And then we've got more. Now, these can be used for autumn. So you can do autumnal trees or you can have, you know, spooky skeleton type trees. You've got your witchy boots and your bits to trim. And you've also got a rickety fence. So the fence can go with the trees and it can be an autumn theme. Or you can use them all together as Halloween. But I do like that fence. That would look nice with loads of hills and a windy river. So, you know, the fence can be reimagined. So that's another cute set. And then we get to spooky bows. And I've got two sizes of bows. So these are the cobweb ones. I think the last ones that I made were the bat bows. And uh, they were really sweet. So these are lovely. These are fabulous cutting felt. 
or even cutting fabric. If you put fabric to paper, I'll tell you one of the best ways to adhere fabric to paper is either a glue stick, which is not so permanent, but if you want to make it permanent so that you can make hair bows that you know can go in a box and can be worn the following year, get yourself a piece of um, cling film or saran wrap, whatever it is that you call it, put that down on top of a sheet of paper, put your fabric down or your felt and then use a piece of parchment paper, baking sheet or something and then go over it with a hot iron and the saran wrap will fuse to the fabric and the paper and once you've done that they're inseparable. Um, it's also a good way to make book covers actually so there's another thing for you for, for this Friday. So there we've got two gorgeous spooky bows. Right, next up we have Shaking It About, what looks to be a deer. Now, I believe that these are different characters, so I'm going to make this up for Monday. I think this is a deer, a penguin, and might even be a snowman in there. I am not quite sure. So we'll do this one on Monday and find out. But as I say, the link will be below. You'll be able to click the link and go and see. And then we've got lots of words, and you know what I'm like, for reading back to front. And every time I get words, I, I go and do it, and I should. And I'll start putting a mirror on the table. But um, I think that says haunting. No, I'm not going to guess it. We'll just cut them out instead for Monday. So I've got the whole weekend to do it, and apparently... We're going to have four to six inches of rain. So, crafting is on the cards, absolutely. Which reminds me, I need to go and run out in the garden and put a bunch of fertiliser down. So that when the rain is finished, I'll still have some green grass instead of straw. Right, next up, and there are two sizes of Christmas stocking. Aren't they gorgeous? Once again, these can be shakers or you can just leave them plain, decorate them up. You've got that lovely jester top, which is one of my favourites. You've got all your poinsettia. You've got the toe of the sock. You've got another cuff, I think, that you can use there. You've got little jingle bells. That is really sweet. And then, of course, you've got the larger set. Things like this are quite easy to make, so, you know, I'm, I'm going to be doing those in the week. And then I have, I believe, two sets of bows. Yes, I do. These are the four-point package bows, which I'm sure are going to be absolutely gorgeous. So, once again, an easy one to make. And there are two different sizes. And you really do need to make these to uh, get the accurate size. You can't just measure from there to there because they have to be folded in. So we'll do those as well. And then we've got a lovely shaker Christmas tree, or it can be left plain again. You've got this gorgeous loopiness to it, which is nice. You can either have the piece that will cut out the little dots for you, or you can push that out and have it plain. So that's really cute. And then, this is huge. This is gonna be fun to make. We've got a little reindeer here, but we've got the larger one. And then you've got your, your book bit. So it's like a mini planner or a mini album of a little reindeer for Christmas. You've got the nose and the mouth and the face in there. So this is one that needs to be made. But you can see how that is going to look. Put my hand under it. Isn't that gorgeous? Got these little starry cheeks. That is a fabulous size. In fact, I'll uh, I'll measure that. She says, looking across the table, and I'm pretty sure my husband's run off with my ruler. Yeah, he has. So I'm <laughs> I'm not going to be measuring it. I'm going to have to make it. Well, that's a shame. I wonder what he was up to. Never mind. And I have two Tim Holtz rulers. And uh, one of them is permanently missing, and I don't want the other one to be as well. So, anyway, that is a gorgeous size. I'm not going to guesstimate it, but it does look to be about five and a half inches. So, we'll get an accurate measurement. 
in the wake but that's just really sweet that's a really lovely one and then last but not least we have what looks to be a pocket that is stitched it's notched out it's got a layering piece you've got this lovely masquerade mask and then you've got dice or dies whatever you like to call them and then we've got a spoon here so let's open this and have a look this looks like it's going to make a fold out book or something okay right so that piece to me looks like a pocket we've got a layering piece and as I said we've got the dice and then we've got another piece that looks like it folds up into ah I can see it now it's a fold up little box yeah here's the um, the ties you know the policy envelopes that you get and you wrap your thread around so that will make a holder that will hold all of these pockets so that's another one that needs to be made right that is what I have got for you today and as I said anything that confuses you because I'm quite good at confusing people uh, will be linked below so that you can go and see exactly what they look like on KS Crafts website have an absolutely awesome weekend and I will be up on Monday as usual all links below Bye.